All right, today we're going to design an LED flashlight. Uh, this is going to go through the calculations for you. We're going to just pick some uh, values here because, again, I randomized these uh, for you all. I'm going to start with 7.6 volts, and I'm going to pick five LEDs. And the first thing I want to do is do my testing on my LEDs to make sure that, um, you know, I can make decisions on what LEDs I want to go with. But I'm going to go with a blue LED that's 3.4 volts to light it, and it also has a 20 milliamp current requirement for this blue LED. And I'm going to come up with a couple different schematics. All right, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and design with the five LEDs in series. And this might be one of your designs before you pick an LED, but this should not be a design based on this LED because it requires 3.4 volts. And if you only have 7.6 volts, there's not enough voltage uh, to light all of these up with these requirements to get the brightness you need. Um, the 7.6 is going to be divided um, by 5 for each of these. Um, so this is this will not work. So then I, I had students that said, well, wire them in parallel. So let's do that. And then I asked them, I said, well, do I just wire these all together here? And they said, no, because if you have 7.6 volts, that would burn out those LEDs, which is correct. So we need to add resistors into these. So this would work. And if we just isolate a single branch, okay, so forget about the other ones, we'll just do this branch right here. We want a potential difference, so if I was looking at a voltmeter wired here, this needs to be 3.4 volts. And then if I did a voltmeter here, this voltage would have to be 4.2 volts on that resistor. Because again, the total for that branch is 7.6. So these two should have to add up to be 7.6 volts. And then I also know the current that's going to be going through this branch is this 20 milliamps. And this is the basis for my calculation. So the first thing I want to do is calculate the resistance of this resistor right here. So I'm going to just call this like R1 and this would be R5. So the resistance of the fifth resistor is equal to the voltage over the current. So R5 equals 4.2 volts over 20 milliamps. And if I use my calculator here, 4.2 divided by 20 e to the negative 3, I get 210 ohms for my resistor. So that's going to be the same resistance on all of these because they're identical branches that are in parallel. So I have five resistors of 210 ohms, and each one is uh, has 200 milliamps of current flowing through it. Well, we can find the total power drawn by the system because we want to find the efficiency of this system. So let's find the total power. Well, if I'm pulling 20 milliamps on each of these branches, 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20, how much current is being pulled from the battery? Well, that would be 100 milliamps. So power, if you remember, is current times voltage. So if we're looking at the battery power, this would be the current from the battery times the voltage of the battery. So power from the battery is equal to 100 milliamps times 7.6 volts. That gives me 760 milliwatts. And then I want to find out how much power does each LED have. Mm -hmm. 
So I need to find the current and the voltage of each of my LEDs. So this is going to be the power of one LED. This is going to be the current of one LED times the voltage of one LED. So the power of an LED is equal to 20 milliamps times 3.4 volts. So the power through an LED is 68 milliwatts. So the power of five LEDs equals five times the power of an LED. So the power of five LEDs is equal to five times 68. And I get 340 milliwatts. So there's the power of my LEDs that's being consumed out of the total power drawn from the battery. Well, let's just check and make sure that, that that's correct. So now I'm going to look at the power of my resistors. So this is just for one resistor. So again, I have 20 milliamps, 4.2 volts. So I have 20 times 4.2, so I have 84 milliwatts for one resistor. So the power through five resistors is going to be five times the power of the resistor. It's going to be five times 84 milliwatts. And I get 420 milliwatts. And now let's look at our numbers. We have 420 milliwatts of power being wasted essentially through the resistors. We have 340 milliwatts of power being used by the LEDs. And if you look at the sum of these two numbers, that is the power drawn from the battery. So we can safely assume that these calculations are correct. Now what I want to do is I want to find the efficiency of the system. And that's going to be equal to the power out over the power in times 100%. And the output power is the power from the LEDs given off the light. So that's going to be 340 milliwatts. And the power in is the power from the battery, which is 760 milliwatts. So my efficiency is 45% which is not great. So that goes through the efficiency of this particular setup. So how else could we arrange these LEDs? Well, I noticed that 7.6 volts is bigger than two times this voltage value. So maybe I have an arrangement where I double up those resistors, or the uh, LEDs. So I put two LEDs in series with the resistor. And I do that for another branch. And then I do a third branch, but this one only has one LED and one resistor. This, these two resistors are going to be the same because they're they're the same branches, but this one is going to be different. And this one is actually going to match the same as these. Because if you think about it, it's identical to one of these branches. So we know that this resistance should be 210, because again, we have a voltage or a current of 20 milliamps through each of these lines. And here we have a voltage of 3.4 volts, and this one is still 4.2 volts. So that's the, that's the exact same as what we calculated here. So that resistance is going to be 210 ohms for R5. This we're going to call R3 now. So R3 is equal to 210 ohms. We want to find R values of 1 and 2. So R value of 1 and 2 is equal to V over I. We need to find the voltage drop. 
Well, if this is 3.4, and this is 3.4, from there to there is 6.8. And we want to drop 7.6. So this is going to give us 0 0.8 volts from here to here on that resistor. So we have 0 0.8 volts over a current of 20 milliamps. So if I take 0.8 divided by 20, I get this, and that's milliamps, so it turns out this is this many kilo ohms. So that's going to be 40 ohms for my resistors 1 and 2. So I have 40 ohm resistors there, a 210 ohm resistor there. Now I want to find the power, uh, total power of the battery, and then the power consumed. So let's look here. How much current is drawn from the battery this time? Well, there's only three branches with 20 milliamps each. So this would be 60 milliamps on that one. Again, I can show my work for that. Total current equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. Kirchhoff's current law, I have 20 milliamps plus 20 milliamps plus 20 milliamps. Again, show all your work. Uh, I'm just using this as kind of a guide to kind of help you get to where you need to go. So now the power of the battery is equal to IV. So power from the battery equals the current. So we have 60 times 7.6. That's 456 milliwatts. The battery power is 460 milliwatts, taking a digit. Well, here's kind of the cool thing. The power in the, the five LEDs is actually the same as the last calculation, because if you think about it, what's the current through this LED? 20 milliamps. What's its voltage? 3.4 volts. And we have one, two, three, four, five of them. The power doesn't change that we want to get out from those LEDs. If I look back at my last sheet, I could just go through that calculation again. I'm not going to. Um, you can go back in the video, but it's 340 milliwatts. Now let's look at the power through the resistors. So I'm going to do resistor 1 first. It's going to be IV. So its current is 20 milliamps. Its voltage is 0 0.8 volts. So 20 times 0 0.8 16 milliwatts. And that's also the power through resistor 2. Those are the same. And then power through resistor 3 is equal to 20 milliamps times 4.2 volts, which we've already calculated this in our last problem, and that's 84 milliwatts. So what is the total resistance power? Well, that's going to be 16 milliwatts plus 16 milliwatts plus 84 milliwatts. So the resistance power total going to be 116 milliwatts. And again, with addition rule, we're good to the ones digit, good to the ones digit, good to the ones digit, so our answer is good to the ones digit. And these should technically have some carried extra zeros. Kind of can do that. You have a blank equation, all that stuff. But again, I'm running out of time here on my video. So again, these numbers should add up. We've got 116 plus 340, and that gives us my 456. Perfect. So now we find the efficiency of this one. So it's going to be, again, no blank equation. I'm not going to do it on this one, but I'm going to take my LEDs and divide by my total. And here I get an efficiency of 75%. So when I look at the two options, between 75% efficiency and 45% efficiency, I'm going to go with this and also look at the power draw of the battery is only 460 versus 760. So I have significantly less power.